Hi, my name's Ruan and this is my channel, The Yorkshire Sew Girl. I thought I'd quickly pop on and just say hello because I haven't been on for a couple of weeks. Um, yeah, life has been crazy. I don't think I'm ever going to get to a point where I can upload once a week. Maybe when we're in lockdown, <laughs> might have managed it, but yeah. Um, but I just wanted to quickly say hello. I know I don't talk about subscribers and followers and all that very often. But I just wanted to say thank you very much for everybody who has subscribed recently because I'm on my way to 4,000 subscribers, which I find A, bizarre that anybody wants to even listen to me waffling on and B, just unbelievable that, um, yeah, that there's so many wonderful people out there that want to listen to me gabble on about sewing and stuff like that. So yeah, that's made me super happy. So hopefully it won't be long until I hit the 4,000. But well, actually, good point. One thing I thought to mention is, um, I know I've mentioned before that I haven't put advert adverts on my YouTube videos. But someone pointed out the other day that there was actually an advert on my video when they went to watch it. Uh, so can people just let me know if there is videos? Because I think what's happening is YouTube is putting videos on regardless of whether I've accessed you know, said that given permission to do that or whatever. But to be fair, it's a free platform that I upload my videos on to. So I understand that they've got to kind of earn their their money from me somehow. Um, but I just wanted to know if there's adverts on these videos. And if so, are they at the beginning, the middle, the end, what? Because I have no idea what I'm doing anyway, do I? So um, I'm going to make this quite a quick one. I know I say that every time. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my God, it's 30 minutes. I'm really going to try not to. Um, all I'm going to do is just give you a quick update um, of where I'm up to with things really because um, I haven't been doing an awful lot of sewing recently and that is because life has got in the way and as you know I was quite poorly with Covid so was my family so it's been a little bit bonkers um, and we are hoping to go on holiday so we had um, a holiday to Turkey cancelled about 100 times not that I like to exaggerate but um and then we finally managed to get it rebooked for the October half term. So we're supposed to fly on the 20th of October, which isn't very far away. And I was one of those unlucky people that had more than 10 years on their passport. So with the EU changes, your passport is only allowed to be 10, uh, 10 years old. So it deducts whatever you've had over that. Mine had 10 years and nine months. And then obviously you've got to have six months on your passport to be able to travel anywhere, which means my passport is invalid. So I sent it off to the passport people three weeks ago, maybe more now, can't even remember. And they've received it, but they've done nothing with it. <laughs> Please send me all the positive vibes because we've wanted this holiday for so long and I really don't want to disappoint my children, but it is what it is. There's far worse things going on in the world. I am aware of that, but this is just one of them things that I just, I need your prayers for people. Pray that my passport comes back in time for me to be able to go away with my family because I would love that to happen. If not, I'm sure we'll be able to move it and do it some other time, but yeah, it's kind of my luck at the moment, to be honest. Um, I did forget, so anyway, I'm waffling on. Last time I did a vlog, I did a fabric haul, can you remember? And if anybody watched it, um, I was talking about some fabrics I bought from Rainbow Fabric in Kilburn. And I was a bit confused at one point because I was like, I'm sure I got more meters than that for 40 quid. And as I was totting it up while I was doing my vlog, I was like, hmm, it's not as much as I thought. It's because I'd forgotten one. <laughs> I'd washed it and it was in my ironing pile. So I'll just show you that one as well, shall I? So this is the other one that I got. <laughs> it's absolutely beautiful. It's like a viscose crepe, I think. And now I should find out exactly what all these things are and research and that. But you know what? I fly by the seat in my pants. So kind of just sit down and dump a lot of verbal stuff at you. Um, but yeah, I, it's absolutely beautiful. And I've got three metres of this. So that's why when I was working out my meterage, I was like, wait a minute. So I actually got something like, so I got, did I get four lots of three and then a two or something like that? I don't know. But I got a lot of fabric basically for 40 quid, which is unbelievable, isn't it? 42 pound, I think it came to. So I've got this, which is black with like, yellow blue and white stars in all different um sizes and i love it but again no idea what to make with it just bought all this fabric don't know what i'm doing with it but you know 
it's there ready and waiting isn't it but i thought that might be quite nice for like christmas time as well because it's dark but then it's got a little bit of stars on it so something for christmas might look quite nice in that i think i'm all for the dresses at the moment you know what i've been like i'm like oh no i'm not a dresses person and then all i've done is make dresses basically um so yeah i might I need to just decide which one really. I won't mind making another spring dress if I'm honest. And obviously I've said to you before, I want to make like a, maybe a long sleeved, longer Lyra. Tell you the month's Lyra as well, so. Um, what have I, so I haven't, have I bought anything else? Oh, I bought a couple of patterns. What did I buy? So I had a voucher because I won the So Hayley Jane, um, if you can hear noise in the background, there'll be a memory by the way. Um, I won a £15 voucher for putting a picture up of my So Hayley Jane unboxing one a couple of months ago and I bought a pattern to make my mum's um, dress for her birthday but I had a little bit left so I bought, what did I buy? I don't know what I bought, I bought two patterns, what were they? I fancied the sagebrush top, I know that because a lot of people said about my black poppy print that I had two different variations of the pattern would look really good in a sagebrush top and I liked that. We had look, oh wait a minute, <coughs> Ooh, Covid, I've had it, it's alright. I mean I know you can get it again but surely I won't be hit down by it within like another month because that would just be ridiculous. Um, yeah, I can't even remember what I've purchased, that's shocking isn't it, maybe I'll talk about that in the next one then eh? So <laughs> I'm not prepped at all. But I have, been, I have been sewing a couple of things. Obviously, um, I've not had an awful lot of time recently, but it was my husband's birthday. And I know I said I'm never making him anything ever again after he um, said that the shirt I made him years ago was like Elvis's shirt. But um, I'd bought a while ago the men's Hudson pants by True Bias Pattern. I can't find the men's one, but this is the woman's one. So I prepped a little bit. I just grabbed this quickly before I came on. Um, so I did the men's version of this. So I bought this in the men's version, the women's version and the kids version because I have pre-ordered some Christmas jersey fabric and I'm thinking I might make some nice matching pyjamas for us all. That's on my Make 9. You know the Make 9 that I did at the beginning of the year? I think I've made about three things off it. That's <laughs> That would be one of them, see, so I could get that done. So I've ordered some when you can pre-order it before it's actually been printed. So I don't know when I'm going to get that, but I thought I could maybe do that. So in the meantime, I've made my husband some um, True Bias pants. Now they look massive and the reason for that is when I made them for him, I didn't want to put the elastic in because I've obviously you're supposed to measure your waist for the elastic and I didn't want to go around and start going around with a tape measure with him because he'd be like, what are you doing? I want them to be a surprise. So I've made them without the elastic in um, and I just that's all I need to do now is finish it off now that he's seen it and put the um, drawstring through the top. So these are they, these are they, they're a bit boring, but you know, it's something that I have been making. So it's just this grey sweatshirt fabric with black um, trim on the bottom. So the cuffs, the pocket trim and the waistband are all done in black with then this grey. And this grey fabric I got from Colville Fabrics and I think I got three metres at the time because I remember thinking I might make myself a pair and my husband a pair or maybe make a hoodie for my husband as well as the pair of um jogging bottoms and when I got it out it's like um it's like a it's like cuffing but it's not so it's really thick sweatshirt fabric but it's in a tube you know like you get cuffing in sometimes so it's mega wide so I've got tons of it so I might even make my boys um a couple of little pairs of hoods and pants um with it as well so it's got the little buttonholes here uh, did I have to put the waistband on the wrong way so the buttonholes were in the inside though and then have to unpick it all? Yes, I did. Um, as you can see, I've still got my hole here ready to put my elastic in and I um, did all of my overlocking with the uh, rainbow. You know, I'm sure my husband would love that. And I also put a little tiny um, tag in, which is a Kylie and the Machines tag that says 2021 on it, circa 2021. Um, I thought that looked quite cute on the pocket. I just need to press it down because it's sticking up a bit. Um, so yeah, once I've got the elastic in that, I'll be able to zoom it up because um, at the moment they look massive. Um, and then we can go around in our, you know, little Hudson pant gang, can't we? Because I've got a pair in blue that I absolutely love. So I think I might end up making myself a pair of these just for winter too um, because I'm not being funny, but 
I cut the fabric out because it's hardly any pattern pieces um, and made it up, I would say in about two hours from beginning to end. And I, when I was doing it, I was like, why do I not do this more often? Because I love hoods and pants and it's so easy and quick to do. So the other thing that I have been um, sewing is in the background. So I had this cut out for ages. And it's one of them things I've had in my drawers down here. Just for like, you know, if you run out of things to make and you can't be, you can't be bothered to um, cut anything out. Because I hate cutting out and having to adjust my patterns because I'm tall and blah, 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 blah. Um, so um, I'd cut this out ages ago, shoved it in the drawer when I was doing a bit of batch cutting and forgot all about it. And then recently I've just been picking it up and doing a little bit at a time and then I finished it. Check me out. And it's my first ever My Scientist dress by Dear and Doe. So I made in this gorgeous So Hayley Jane um, fabric um, that I'd got in one of my boxes some time ago now. And I just think for autumn as well, the colours of it and everything are gorgeous, aren't they? Um, but I've seen so many versions of the My Sotis dress all over Instagram and I thought I'm just gonna have to, just gonna have to do this. So I did. So this is the pattern. And I actually did this version here. So short sleeves without a flounce on and just one length of skirt. Um, and But I would like to try and make the other version, to be honest. Um, but this with, I wore it yesterday. I just didn't take any photos. Oh God, I'm absolutely rubbish at updating my grid on Instagram at the moment, guys. Really, really bad. But we've moved premises at work and we used to have like a little garden at my old work. So I used to have my photos taken out there. And now we work in like office, like a little annex where there's loads of other people. So can you imagine me outside having my photo taken with all the other people staring at me? I'd look at that. You know what? So yeah, so I'm really, really pleased with this. Um, it's got a gorgeous collar. And you know when you just, you know when things just work? And I was dreading this collar. And actually, it's just, it's just perfect. Everything about it's perfect. And I've put a little, another Circa 2021 little label in from Kelly and the Machines that I got. The only thing I did with this is I increased the bodice by an inch. And I also increased, I believe, the length of this tier by two inches because obviously I'm tall. And I also added on ties at the back. So it's tiny little ties, look. And then I realised just when I wore it that I've not finished the ends off, like you do. Just to cinch it in, because I don't mind a smock dress, but I do prefer the option of having it pulled in, if that makes sense. So I wore it to work yesterday, and you can hardly see these buttons, look, but look at those buttons. I was looking for some buttons in my stash, and I'm like, oh, I don't think I'm going to have any buttons, to, I'm going to have to buy some. And then I found these, I think I bought from Fabricate Murfield years ago, and I only had three. That's all I needed. I think I've been looking at them for ages and thinking, well, I need more than three buttons, but you only need three for this. So it made up really, really well. No issues whatsoever. The instructions are good. Maybe not so much if you were a beginner beginner, though. I found it no issue. But if I was a you know serious beginner, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it stretch your skills a bit. Don't get me wrong, but I'd probably scratch my head in a few places. The only thing is I've lengthened this by an inch. And if I make it again, I'm going to lengthen it by another couple of inches, I think. Reason being is, it sits right on the top of my waist. So then when I pull it in, you see these side bits here where the tear comes in, the skirt panel. It like bunches out a little bit on the hips. So I think if I drop that. Now I've made the Tilly the Buttons Lyra, so I think I might compare the two and see how far further down the bodice it drops. Because that fits me in a really good place on my body. The Lyra dress that I've made, so I might do that. But the bust darts were exactly pointing to where they should be pointing. Um, and yeah, I'm just really pleased with it. The fabric is absolutely gorgeous. It's got a weight to it, which is nice, but it's still really drapey. It was a dream to sew. It pressed like, just like it was meant to. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes viscose can be a bit tricky, can't it? But this wasn't because it's a heavier viscose. So yeah, I, I love it. I really, really love it. But if I make it again, I will definitely drop the bodice, I think, a couple of inches just to see how that lies. But that might be in the cards for me, another one of them. You know, because I really like it. And then the other thing that I'm making at the moment is, which I had a, the pattern cut out for ages, not the actual fabric, is a free pattern, which is the Stellan T. Now, I talked about this one when I was 
entering into the So Joey um, t-shirt challenge um, and I, I printed off loads of t-shirt patterns and I made a couple of them up for the challenge but I had this one as well and it's a free one by French Navy. Only thing is the sizing is not that good on it. Um, and I've cut the pattern out ages ago. Well, you know, I'm not going to deny I might have eaten a few too many uh, biscuits recently. Um, so I'm making it up because I've cut, I've cut the fabric out and it wasn't till afterwards that I thought, mm, I think this might be a bit small. Um, and I'm going to see how it turns out because that's the same with the myosotis. I'd cut that out so long ago and then obviously, you know, probably like a dress size bigger now. Um, but that fit me absolutely fine. Don't think I told you what size I made. I made a size 42, I think. And then I um, graded out to a 44 on the hips. And that is, so 42 um, size is bust 37 and three quarters. And then a size 44 is 31 and a half on the waist and 41 and three quarters on the hip. Now I'm actually at the moment 36 inches on the waist. So this would not have my waist measurements on it, this pattern, can you believe? Because it only goes up to a 33 inch waist, but there's that much ease in it. Um, so the 44 that I graded out to, the waist is 37 and 3 eighths. Well, if I'm a 36, I've got a good couple of inches to play around with there. So yeah, didn't have to worry about it, thank God, because I'd already cut it out, it was too late. And that's a bit the same with the Stellan T. So I'm hoping once I've made it, it won't be too short. But this is where I'm at at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I'm making it out of. So it's this um, cotton jersey that I got. It was the first order I ever made with Rainbow Fabrics. It must be a couple of years ago. I think Tamlin from Sewn on the Tyne had ordered some and it was, I've never heard of them before. So I went and had a look because I just, she, I think she bought some of this and I was like, oh my God, I need that. You know what I'm like about animal print? Ready to wear that and I've been made it. Um, so yeah, so I've, I've just, all I've done is literally done this, this um, shoulder seams and then I've just put the neck lap band on. But I need to, just, I've only basted that in because I need to just go try it because I've got a funny feeling it's going to be a bit loose. I've just used a contrasting black. Um, now it doesn't have cuffs on the sleeves or, or anything or a band on the bottom, um, but I just thought that might be quite nice with it having a contrast because the fabric is not that stretchy. Um, there's not too much in it. It's one of those where it's the cotton's doing the stretch rather than any spandex, I believe. But this was dirt cheap and I think it was cheap at the time because there was a fault in it, but I've not been able to find anything. So if I can't find anything now, if I've made it up and it's there, then tough luck, isn't it? Um, but yeah, I'm just, it's gonna be short. I didn't lengthen it because I quite like a boxy one and I fancied it tucked into jeans. So this was very cheap fabric. I'm just gonna see how it turns out might not end up on my Instagram grid because it might be too small but the other thing I've bought recently is this spray starch now when I worked with the beautiful Lady McElroy um viscose cotton merry lawn I think it's called that um I was kind of gifted by Rachel from so totally me I struggled with how slippery it was and I thought, oh, I need to, you know, be able to do that because the fabric is just to die for and I want to be able to wear loads more of it. And loads of people mention spray starch. So I bought some. I'm scared to use it and I ain't got there yet. <laughs> and now it's getting into autumn and winter. I'll be making hopefully snuggly, buggly things, won't I? Um, but yeah, I bought some spray starch ready for when I tackle really slippery fabrics. The only thing is I've heard a lot of people say you can get a bit of residue, but this was the one that had the best... Um, reviews when I bought it and it's Dr Beckman and I mean you can't beat Dr Beckman uh, their carpet cleaner is the best in the world I have cats you see and children and so I use it on the daily but there you go um what else I'm still doing a bit of my cross stitch I'm doing a like a table Christmas table runner for my mother-in-law for Christmas so I'm working on that at the moment I'm desperate to do my felt flowers so that is going to happen soon hopefully um, I mean, if we don't get to go on holiday, I'll have loads of time on my hands, so maybe then. And then I just needed to show you this little thing that I got at a craft fair the other day. Let me take his, his little tag off. How cute is he? He's a little felted penguin with a little love heart. And you know how much he was? Three pounds. I mean, how could I leave him on the shelf? How cute is he? He's beautiful, isn't he? He is a lot better than when I tried needle felting. And I made a Santa Claus that whose face actually looked like a pig. I mean, 
it was ridiculous and um, I've kept it so when I get all my Christmas stuff out I'll still be, I'll show you I'll be having a laugh with you because yeah the poor little Christmas Santa Claus has got a pig's nose rather than like a you know an old man's nose father Christmas nose mine's yeah mine's just like a pig so he's just sat here on my little side how cute see just had to show you him um yeah so next video I will try and work out those two patterns that I got I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't think I ended up getting the sagebrush top. I got two other patterns and I just cannot remember. My memory is shocking at the moment. But I've got loads of patterns that I've had printed out in the past and paperwork everywhere. So I want to just have a little bit of time as well, making up my envelopes, the famous envelopes, and just getting a bit organised really. And then I'm going to sit down and have a think about what I actually want to make for autumn. And it's going to be this type of thing, isn't it? It's going to be snuggly things. I'd love to make a couple more... Nina Lee South Bank dresses. I'd love to make a Billy sweatshirt in the size down from the one I made previously um, and things like that. So I just want to spend a bit of time working out actually what I want in my wardrobe. And the other thing is I am going to try and tackle a pair of trousers this year. Before the year is out, I pledge to myself that I will try and make some trousers because I mean, I need to not hold back, don't I? I don't know why. It's because of the fitting. I am one of them lazy sewists that I'm really gutted if I make something and I don't like it at the end. But I'm going to have to just try, aren't I? Because I do struggle to find trousers that fit me nicely. So I just need to tackle it, don't I? But I just see everybody else's trouser jersey and I'm like, a journey and I'm like, oh, I don't know if I can be bothered. The laziness of it. I'll just make loads of tops and dresses now. That's why I think I like dresses now because you just literally wang them on, don't you, with a pair of tights and boots, and off you go. Bob's your uncle, Betty's your aunt, and then in the summer you just wear them with very white legs like me and sandals. So, yeah. Oh, the other thing is, well, I will quickly show you this. I know I said I was going to make this really quick, and I'm already garbling on, but I bought this from Asda ages ago was nine pound right and I got it in a size 12 and it's beautiful and when I put it on it's gorgeous but it's so big you know when something's supposed to be oversized but it just doesn't quite suit me now I was going to take it back but I mean look at that fabric oh it's just beautiful so I think I'm gonna try it's probably not going to be now I mean unless we do get to go on our turkey holiday and I get all motivated and I think yes I can wear it on holiday I'm going to try and make this into another type of sundress. I just don't know which one yet. But I'm going to try and do a bit of jiggery pokery, which I've never done before. I've never like upcycled anything or that I, that I know of, <laughs> that I can remember anyway. So I think I'm going to give that a go. Um, is that the front or the back? Yeah, that's the front. So the back's just got a seam down the middle of it here but the rest I mean there's quite a lot of fabric isn't there but I just couldn't you know what I'm like about pink and white I just couldn't take it back I was like no I need it so I thought even if I just make something a little top out of it or something I'm gonna do something every time I say something with it yeah so any ideas people throw them in the comments down below because I would really like to tackle that and have a go so yeah that's me done <laughs> There's not that much going on here at the moment. But I think what I'll do is maybe next time I'll do a video more about what I think my autumn plans are going to be. I mean, I sound really professional now, my autumn plans. I've no idea. You know what I'm like? I'm like a magpie. I think I'm going to make something and I see something else that I think is prettier and I forget about the other thing and it just goes on and on and on and on and on. Um, but there are a couple of things that are really burning with me. One of them is a long-sleeved, longer Lyra. That is one thing that I definitely want to do. I would also like a nice, really long line cardigan. And I've got some fabric in mind for that. But it's patterned. And then I'm like, well, what are you going to wear it with? And blah, blah, blah. So I've got some thinking to do to try and match up um, fabric. At the moment, I'm trying to sit on my hands because Fabric Godmother have got the most beautiful animal print viscose fabric at the moment. It's in the shape of hearts. I don't know if anybody's seen it, but they've got it in pink, green, purple, like a lilac and mustard. It's just out of this world but i have bought enough fabric recently so i'm not gonna buy it <laughs> what should we come on in a couple of weeks i'm like look what i've got from fabric godmother <laughs> beautiful uh heart-shaped viscose uh animal print fabric but yeah you know i'm gonna i'm gonna really try to resist so yeah thank you everybody for subscribing i do really appreciate i really appreciate everybody listening to me as well gabbing on 
Um, and I love it when everybody puts messages down below. If I ever miss one, I'm ever so sorry because sometimes it looks like there's a comment there. I see a notification and when I go and click on it, it's not there anymore. Biff, puff, puff. So if I never, if I, if I don't ever comment back to you, I am not being rude, I promise, because I do like to try and reply to every single person if I can. Um, because I, I appreciate the fact that you take your time to, to put a comment below. So... I hope everybody's well. I hope everybody's getting loads of time to sew and please do take care of everybody and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye.